Davis for our third evictee, it's Chloe! Yeah. How are you doing? How does it feel to be out? And uh, to come out in that way as well? It's just, like, so overwhelming. Um, just weird random ending, really weird, but I thought there'd be, like, a little twist. So. Yeah. So, um, nine people put you up on that board. I said ten in the house because I counted ten segments, but you each had one already. Right. So that's where my counting went a bit astray. Got so yeah. nine people, um, whereas it was one for Marnie. Yeah. Uh, how, how, how are you about that? Did you, do you know what? It, do you think? Yeah, I totally did because I kind of stopped caring what they thought. Because, um, like, I knew I had to make a choice between people and Bear. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to pick Bear because he's... I understand him so much and I just... I just kind of give up on what they thought. Really? Mm hmm Did you feel like you only really had him to rely on in there? I think Bear's the most genuine out of everyone in there. He's really, really genuine, whereas everyone else is so... You know, you know what, right? You know, like, if somebody just makes an effort so much to be your best friend as soon as you walk through the door and you don't know him, that's not genuine. I can genuine. see why he would do that with you, though. No, Bear didn't. Everyone else did. That's how it, everyone else was not genuine. So you and don't I, think they were genuine because they tried to get to know you? No, because everyone's just so bothered about what people think. Everyone's dying to cling on to friends, so they're not up for eviction, like, you know, for nomination and stuff, whereas Bear were just real. He was so real. Right. Um, let's talk about Renee, because yeah. she's obviously the reason why yes, we sat she here is tonight. The <laughs> so, <laughs> save, save and replace took place. Yeah. Uh, she won the chance to save herself and obviously uh, put you up. But why didn't I get a chance after that? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I was like, I'm all right, it's fine, I'll get a chance as well. And because I get everybody got chances to do different things. I so didn't get a chance to do something else. The luck of, did you not? No, I didn't. I'm not the task team, so <laughs> you're talking to the wrong person. You did win a festival, though. So did she. To be fair. I know, it's because you're on the same team. <laughs> you can't pick and choose your roles, Chloe. I'm sorry. Um, why do you think she chose you? Genuinely, deep down, why do you think that? Right, I don't know like what people have seen on the outside, but... Renee was mad about Bear at the beginning. No, we've seen oh, how you close seen they that. were. Okay. Absolutely. So, so like she got in bed one night with me and she basically wanted to, to make it a, th a thing with them two and she said whether it's just for the show or it's for what it is kind of thing. And, and right. Bear was just like, no, no, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean... And, and who told you that, Bear? Well, Bear, but I was, like, laid two beds down as well, like, after the, when we were all piled up. So you heard and, that. And, and she wasn't secretive about it. Did you hear her say yeah, that, though? Because yeah, she but, has denied that. Yeah, she's just lying. But, um, she's... That's she's easy. <laughs> that, that, come on, though, Chloe. That is easy to... It, it's easy, you know, to kind of just go, oh, yeah, she's lying, because I don't want to believe that. No, no, because it's, she must have it's not even that, because the exact out. thing that she said to Bear about, let's make it, you know, make a thing for the show, like, she said it to me before as well she, on WhatsApp. So, like, I already... She said the exact same things. So I knew she was trying to cr create a thing in there, and she, she'd say it as well, like, at the beginning, she used to say, like, oh, you know, I like Bear when we came by one, and then she kind of stopped in her tracks and changed it when, when he kind of thingy. So, I mean, I, I always knew, and... I, for ages, I was stuck between a, a part where I could either be friends with all the girls and everyone loves me and everyone's nice, but not talk to Bear, or to be real and talk to Bear and, you know, blah, 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 and, and everyone else be against me. And I, it just got too stressful to try and stay in their little clique all the time when you can't even be real. It's... OK, well, let's take a look at you and Bear in action. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Chloe, my God. oh, big <laughs> not sure she's seen anyone. I don't need to snog me. Why does everyone always think I'm a stripper? I've just kissed Bear. But it's totally not my type. Oh, my God, Bear is making out with Chloe. Outside, it would never be a thing, but the bad boy thing makes him slightly attractive. Obviously, I'm not going to share bread with Bear tonight. I'm questioning your intelligence on this one. Oh, my babes, all right. Okay. I don't think he's Prince Charming at all. No, I said you <laughs> They're just CKING. Ah. I think she really wants her family to say that. I got on with everyone. Now I've kissed Bear and everyone just hates me. She's attracted to nastiness. Mm -hmm. Very misunderstood, Chloe. Go on, baby. Ah. Your daughter should be embarrassed when you're swinging with your on a pole. Big brains. <laughs> um, so, what do you think of that, then? Wow. You, you, you were kind of, oh, oh. Like, you weren't aware that you'd done it. No, I was, but it's so intense. Like, there were all the cute little kissy bits and all the all the nice things are not there, and it's just so intense. It's such an intense compilation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we... No, but we have seen, like, the, the kissy bits and the nice bits, but we've also seen the hardcore bits as well. Yeah. Are you not worried about what people think? 
Um, you know what? I went in there and I was like a million percent. There's no way I will touch anyone there. There's no way I'll like anyone. There's no way I'll kiss anyone. There's, and and you, you kind of forget. It's because it's so. It's such like a boot camp in there. You kind of forget that there's all these cameras and you feel like when nobody can see you in there that you, you're out of the way. You forget that there's actually like loads of cameras there as well. Okay. Um, so I guess it, it, it's one day in there is like a year out here as well. So yes. it's, things move quick, but it's because we, it was so intense in there. It's literally like we've just spent 10 years together. Lots of the housemates did try to warn you about him. Um, why do you think they did that? The thing with Bear is it just likes to spice it up and everyone kind of takes it personal and thinks he's so nasty and he's actually not a nasty person. He's such a little sweetheart, really. I think that that's obvious, obviously a thing that will come for you because you had a great relationship with him. But you, if you're on the wrong side of Bear, he's extremely goading. He antagonises people. He likes to push their buttons. He likes to wind people up. And he gets off on it. That's how it looks. He just, but there's other people in there that do that as well. And I think he, even though he, he does have a bit of a laugh like that, he, he's never too no, but, personal but, in it, but, I don't think. But for you, it's a laugh because you're on the right no, side of him. You, but when you're on the receiving end of yeah. that, Chloe, we've seen Renee, for example. I know the three of you have not got the best history, but she's been in tears. Oh, and if you can make a grown babe, woman she can cry. sit there and just go, <laughs> like she just, she just pops it and it's like, babe, what you want about? That's not something you want to cry about. She's this, she's so good at bringing tears on. It's ridiculous. She is an emotional mess, but I think she just turns it on when she wants. Um, um, you did say that if you got kicked out tonight, you were going to throw a drink over her head, tell her she was a fat, ugly, this, that and the other. But I didn't see you do that. You know what? Because um, after that, then... Well, I hope you've got more consideration for somebody than to actually do that. And that's why you didn't. Uh, no, I probably would have done that, but um, it, <laughs> it's just after that, like I kind of, kind of forgive and forget straight away if you whatever. So after that, we were we were all right when we did the task yesterday with the boxes and stuff. We were fine. Very so quickly. I thought, you know sorry, because we're running out of time. I've got to ask you: Do you think Bear will be different without you? I think he's going to go worse. I think they haven't seen anything yet. Now. Do you think anything will happen on the outside very quickly? Yeah. No. Here are your best bits. <laughs> Nice Chloe's the most amazing businesswoman. Chloe's got a nice pair of <laughs> A wonderful, charming, intelligent woman. Massive man. I can get on with anyone and I do get on with everyone. She's got eye on me, she's giving me that little twinkle. You're all right, babe. Why would you say you're single when you're not? I didn't say I was single. <laughs> I'm questioning your intelligence on this one. Big brains. Ah. I think if this was anybody else in the house, nobody would care, but because it's bare, everyone just hates me. She's attracted to nastiness. This wow. is naked on the pole right now. It was a street where all the prostitutes hung out. To sit here and listen to the word prostitute about yourself is not fair. I think she's just an evil woman. An old and fat and jealous. You can't be a victim when you're swinging when you're on a pole. You what, because the they got me bare? I don't give a Obviously, Put clothes on. Disgusting. Ugh. She's a nice girl. Really clever. Very misunderstood, Chloe. Oh, She's a fascinating and interesting uh, lady. My experience in the Big Brother house is full of emotions, amazing, and just perfect.